I hope you will be fine. A uh, very warm welcome to the course of software testing. This is the first uh, lecture of software testing and we would start from the scratch and then we would go step by step. Uh, first of all, we learn what is software testing. Uh, before going into uh, what is software testing, let us see what is actually testing. What is testing? In very simple uh, words, um, I can say that the testing is actually comparison comparison between between what is and what should be. So this is this is actually the uh, definition of testing. Testing is the word that we also uh, use in uh, everyday life when we test somebody or we, when we test some uh, relationship. We set some expectations, and, and if the the relationship um, uh, meets that expectations, uh, we say that the testing has passed. Uh, otherwise, the test is failed. So in the same way, in in, in software uh, applications. Then testing, uh, we set some expectations. These are our expectations, and this is the actual result. And if these two, two are the same, then the test is passed. Otherwise, the test is failed. For instance, uh, here is a calculator, and uh, here we know we uh, want to test this calculator. So first of all, I uh, perform some addition. Uh, for instance, I say. I want to sum 7 and 9 so here my uh, input is 7 plus 9 so the next level is uh, the next uh, thing is what should I expect from this application I should expect uh, because as a rule of addition the expected Expected output should be 7 plus 9, 16. So now this is my input and this is my expected output. And let us actually perform this uh, operation and see what output we get from this calculator. I clicked on the plus uh, equal sign and the answer 16. So my actual output is also 16 so the status is pass so this is the simplest uh, way of defining testing that we compare what is this is the what is with what should be this is what we what should be what we were expecting so uh, in the whole uh, subject of software testing, we would be defining test cases like this and we would be uh, um, studying different techniques to improve the quality of these test cases to make these test cases more effective so that these test cases cover most of the uh, features of the application. The uh, next concept of testing is there are different levels of testing. Uh, let's study something about uh, level of testing. First of one of uh, the first of all is level zero. In level zero, actually, we do not have any plan of testing. We have we have no plan. So this is level zero. We do not have any plan. Uh, when some error occurs in our applications, um, we 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 try to fix that. Otherwise, uh, we say all is well as long as the application is running. Uh, we have no worries about 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 the qualities. The number the second uh, second level is level one. In level one, uh, we know that the errors may occur in our applications, but we are too much positive. Uh, and so, in too much positive means we try. To hide the errors so we consciously or subconsciously uh, enters such inputs 
uh, which would uh, show the bright side of the application and which would hide the errors. Uh, for instance, uh, when you uh, show the when you uh, uh, give the presentation of your term project or uh, final year project in university, you just try to show the bright side of the project. So this is the level one and level two. Level two is opposite to totally opposite to level one. Here we are too much negative. We try such inputs which would crash the application. So again, our focus is not quality. Here our focus is to uh, show the negative side of the application. And level one, our focus is to show the bright side of the application. For instance, you can take example of uh, your uh, project Vibas when your teachers just want to crash your application they give such uh, uh, inputs they find such inputs which would uh, test your application on the edges or on the corners so that uh, your software crashes so this is the level 2 of testing and next is level 3 of testing here we uh, neither we try to uh, be too much positive nor we try to be too much negative rather in level 3 uh, we set some uh, bare minimum goals of quality and try to meet that goal. That bare minimum goal is actually very much business oriented. So in simple word we can say this level is business oriented. Um, for instance if I have developed an, a, a product and I have rolled out the product in the market and everything is okay. Uh, I am uh, generating profit from the product so I will sit back and relax but as soon as uh, my competitor comes in the market and the sale of my uh, product um, lowers then I will um, try to enhance the quality again so at, in level 3 I just I align the quality uh, with the with my business so here again the focus is not quality rather it is business or the market trends the next level that is the last level of testing it is level 4 and here the focus is only quality so here I you can say neither uh, we do have some plan we have, have plan for quality Neither we uh, tested for uh, proving it right, nor we tested to prove it wrong, and nor we uh, tested for our for generating business. Rather, we just we tested just to enhance our quality. And this level is uh, applied on the uh, for the applications like uh, the application which deal with life dealing applications and very critical projects like NASA projects uh, of space so these are actually uh, five levels of testing um, and uh, the next thing is uh, when we test some applications we write test cases as I have already mentioned this is the format of test case uh, actually we uh, draw a table let's draw some table show you how do we test uh, write the test cases In that table we normally uh, draw five columns but they may be more or less but normally uh, we draw five columns so you can say uh, here this is a sample table for test cases the first column would be id the next column would be uh, input the next column would be expected output and next column should be uh, actual output and the last column would be the status of our test for example I we write some test cases for a replication calculator so the, for this is the first test case I set the ID 1 and 
let's try uh, we uh, say we uh, want to test the sum operation of the calculator so I give an input 33 plus 20 what should be the actual output the actual output should be uh, 53 and so when we write test cases we just fill first three columns the last two columns are filled when we uh, actually do testing so right now we are not testing we are just writing the test cases we would not be filling last two columns so the second test case in this test case let's say i try to i want to test the division uh, operation of the computer so i um, say let's say 12 divided by 6 the answer should be 2 and in third suppose i try to test the multiplication the answer should be 72 so 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 on we can we would be uh, adding the test cases and we will make a complete table of test cases uh, comprising all the operations that are given in the application so uh, this was this is the table of test cases so when we would be testing what what would we be do, doing uh, one second please here first of all we would try the first test case it is 33 plus 20 33 plus 20 the actual output is 53 so it is equal to the expected output to so the status is pass and in next 12 divided by 6 Actual output is 2 and here we were expecting 2 as well so both are same the test is pass similarly uh, in the last case 9 into 8 the answer is 72 and this is what we were expecting 72 so as you know this is the this is the window calculator so it will not uh, it is totally tested it will uh, not uh, fail at any test case so we are writing the status as pass 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 but uh, when, if, when we actually uh, develop any applications we will come up across a situation when the expected output would be different from the actual output and when these when these two outputs would be different then the status should be fail like this fail so uh, this is was the first lecture of software testing stay tuned for the rest of the lectures